Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Bree and welcome. Today's video is going to be me recreating my high school makeup look. I was not able to find every single product that I used in high school, but I did have about three to four items that I did use and the rest I was able to find pretty good dupes. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I got pretty dang close to what I would do and use every single day in high school. Um, it was pretty much this every single day. I didn't switch up my eyeshadows much. I used the same products every single day. It wasn't until after I graduated that I kind of started to get into makeup because my sister went to cosmetology school and started to get into makeup. Um, I mean, I always enjoyed makeup, but I just, I didn't have a lot of money to spend, so it was just a few drugstore products that I committed to and wore every single day. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm actually kind of nervous to do this makeup. I don't know why, it's just like, I know it's gonna be bad, so it's making me nervous. Um, okay, so for foundation, you guys, I would use this Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Some of you may have seen it before, maybe you used it, but when this came out, me and all my friends got it, like seriously, every single one of my friends used this, and we thought it was so cool and so awesome, but I haven't put it on my face yet, but I was just kind of playing with it, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, so it is a mousse. It's so weird. It's such a weird product. So as you can see, it's like a very, very thick mousse. Like, it does not move at all. So super moussey, and I would apply this with my hands. Back in the day, we weren't really using brushes much, maybe an eyeshadow brush, and there definitely wasn't beauty blenders. So um, we would just use our hands. So I didn't prime or anything, and so I'm just gonna get started. I'm just gonna see how this goes. So I'm just kind of dipping my fingers into it. Okay, and the color range with these mousses is not great. So I picked the color that I thought would match me the best. It might be super dark. I'm not totally sure. I am pretty tan. My face is definitely lighter than my body. Um, so I'm hoping it will match my body. So I'm just gonna go for it. Oh god, that's dark. <gasps> but I am, I do remember in high school we would usually use a color that was a little bit darker than what we were because we wanted to look tan. So I'm just going with the flow, you guys. Do you see how much darker that is? But if I put my arm up here, it's actually not a ton darker than my arm. So, okay. <laughs> this is so weird. It's the weirdest feeling, but the coverage isn't super great. Like I'm still seeing my breakouts quite a bit. <laughs> which I had breakouts in high school as well. This is so weird. But this is what we used. Mousse. I'm surprised that this is still like available because I don't feel like it's a product that people purchase often and I'm surprised it hasn't been like taken out of stores. And I didn't wear concealer, so we're just gonna bring this, whoa, right up to the eyes. I would just put it all over. It actually feels kinda nice on the skin, but I could see it being very oily throughout the day. Like I could feel my oils coming through. It's not mattifying by any means. I don't know how else you would apply this. It doesn't come with an applicator, like a sponge or anything, so I don't know how they recommend you apply this. But I don't love it. It's so weird. Okay, so that's the foundation. Not too bad, not the worst part, I don't think. I feel like the next part, how I set the foundation, was the worst part, so I'm a little nervous. So the powder that I would use to set my foundation and what we all used was bronzer. We would actually set our face with a bronzer, <laughs> which is so funny. So if you know what I'm talking about, if you did this, please, please tell me in the comments because I know a lot of girls were doing that because um, we just wanted to be warm and bronzy everywhere. Now, the bronzer that I used was, I know it was at Walmart. It was super, super cheap. I'm pretty sure it was a bronzer that had like a sun inside of it, like it had a, a sun in the powder and I could not find that anywhere at Walmart or Target. So I don't know if it's discontinued. I, I feel like it was like Wet n Wild 
maybe it wasn't, but it was like super cheap, like Wet n Wild. Um, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I was so bummed. So I'm just going to use a drugstore bronzer that I have. I'm going to use the Maybelline City Bronzer um, in the shade 200 because this is very similar to what that one looked like. That one was probably a little warmer, like a little more orange than this one. Um, but we're just going to go with this, okay? So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques Multitasker brush. I have no idea what brushes I used in high school, you guys. I probably just had some from like Elf or, or just Dollar Store. I don't even know, but they weren't anything exciting. So I'm just going to pick up some powder and I would literally just set my foundation with bronzer. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm going to be so warm. And I, I don't know how well bronzer actually like keeps your makeup throughout the day. Like, I probably had breakouts because of my makeup. Okay, so I'm looking very bronze, very warm, very flat. <laughs> so um, I didn't wear, I don't think I wore blush in junior high. But I did find a blush in high school and started to wear blush. And this was the blush. I actually still have one. It was in my old makeup bag. And it is the Palladio Baked Blush in the shade Berry. And this is from, I would get this at Sally's Beauty Supply. I don't know if you can get Palladio somewhere else. I feel like I may have seen it at Target at some point. But I would get this at Sally's Beauty Supply. And I pretty much hit pan on this so you can see it was a used blush. So it's actually a really, really beautiful color, but it does have quite a bit of shimmer in it. Okay, so it's very shimmery. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab a Morphe brush here and swirl it in this blush. I don't know what I used to apply this. I think it was just like a cheap... I probably used brushes from my sister, honestly. Like, I think she gave me brushes when she didn't want them anymore. Okay, so I would just throw this right on my cheeks. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it does not have a ton of pigment. It's honestly like a highlighter. I don't remember it being this shimmery, but there's not a lot of color. There's not much pigment. It's literally so shimmery that it looks like highlighter all over my cheek. So I would say probably like junior year, we started to fill in our brows and we all used powder um, because it's usually what we had. We all had brown eyeshadow. So I'm going to use just a brown eyeshadow from Mascara Beauty right here and use a little angled brush and fill in my brows. Now I know that my brows were very rounded in high school. They didn't have a lot of shape. I didn't get them waxed. Um, I had started tweezing, but they didn't have, they didn't have much going on. They were very hairy, very fluffy. So we're just going to throw some brow powder. And I don't even, I don't even know if I had a spoolie in high school. I think we just put it in there and hope for the best, <laughs> which is so funny to me. Do you guys do brows in high school? Is that a thing where you live? So that's pretty much it for the face. I put my foundation, my bronzer, my blush on, and that was it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. Now, I had two colors on my eyes that I would use. I had either a brown. Um, it was just like a cheap brown eyeshadow. I don't even remember what brand. Um, but it usually had a little bit of shimmer in it, which is really funny. I would just throw that all over my crease. Um, and then I actually discovered these Bare Minerals Loose eyeshadows. My sister actually started using one and I loved it on her so I went and got myself one and I still have it to this day because it's like a loose eyeshadow so it lasted forever because you only need a tiny bit. I don't even know if they still make these. I think my sister actually tried to find one and you have to like go online to get them but it's just a Bare Minerals loose eye color and this is in the color Drama. It's kind of a purpley, taupey, shimmery color. I'll try to show you guys that the best I can. Um, so it does have shimmer in it. I, I loved to put shimmery colors in my grease. So I would take this and I know that I just used kind of a, kind of a firm fluffy brush. So I'm going to use the Real Techniques uh, domed shadow brush here because it's fluffy but it's still kind of stiff. 
And I would just dip right into the cap here, which is why I still have it, because you seriously only need a tiny bit. They're actually really beautiful eyeshadows, um, but they have shimmer in them, so I don't know that I'd be throwing this in my crease currently, um, but we're gonna go with it. So I just dip it in there, tap off the excess, and then I would kind of just start right here in the outer corner, really similar to what I do now. I actually didn't have a horrible eye look, um, but I would start working this inwards. Can you guys see that color? It's like a, a taupey grayish color. And I would start right here and just kind of start bringing it in. And I didn't blend a whole lot. Um, I left it kind of harsh. My sister kind of taught me how to blend so it wasn't horrible but I know that I would just kind of throw it in that crease like so. And it, I don't know if you guys can pick up that, the glitter. It's very, very glittery. Not like chunky glitter, but there's a good sheet in there. And the shimmer doesn't stop there, you guys. I have more shimmer that I'm gonna be adding in there in just a second. And then I would take a little bit and just run it right underneath the eye. So for the kind of lid area and upper brow bone area, I would use this little baby, and I still have one, which is so funny. This is the, I actually used this for a really long time just as a lid color and an inner corner highlight even. Um, this is the L'Oreal Frosted Icing Eyeshadow, so it's just an individual eyeshadow, and it is a stark frosted white. Oh, there was a little applicator in there. So you guys can see it's just super, super white, kind of a frosty color. And I think I would just use the same brush, I would assume, because I didn't have a lot of brushes. And I would just pick up a little bit of this and put it right here, all up in that inner corner. And kind of blend it into the, the other shade. Maybe I used my finger, I don't remember. Let's try our finger. Oh, that's so bad. It's so bad. I mean, this isn't like a bad inner corner highlight color, but putting it like everywhere like this, I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then I would bring it, I would literally just like sweep it around up into the brow. Just so everything connects. Very, very shimmery and bright. <laughs> oh man, it's funny. Okay, that's what I would do, believe it or not. Okay, so moving on to eyeliner. Um, I think everybody was super into just like ribbing their eye with black eyeliner, right? So I just have a plain black eyeliner. This is from Ofra, and I would put this in my waterline, so I'm gonna start that first. So we always just ran it right there in the waterline. We wouldn't bring it down or smudge it out or anything. <laughs> we just put it right there and that bothers me. I hate putting it right there, it makes me nuts. And then we would take some and put it just a straight line on the lashes. So with this eyeliner technique, I looked super squinty all throughout high school because as you can see, it like, when you put black liner in there like that and nothing else below the lashes, it just makes you look super squinty. So this is a don't of makeup. If you are gonna put black liner in the rim of your eye, you definitely want to bring some shadow below and kind of smudge it out to open the eye back up, if that makes sense. So if you're doing a smoky eye, you definitely wanna bring some below the lashes because if not, you look like you have super small squinty eyes. <laughs> so for mascara, what we would do is I would curl my lashes before I put the mascara on, put the mascara on and then I'm going to curl them again after the mascara is on because that would give you the extra volume that you needed and really make them look long and spidery. So we're going to curl our lashes, slap on some mascara and I think I used, honestly I would like jump from one drugstore mascara to the other. Um, I think I used a lot of CoverGirl mascaras back in the day. I was really into CoverGirls. 
Um, but I'm just going to use my It Cosmetics Superhero here. I'm actually like scared to curl them because it is not good for your lashes to be curling them after the mascara is on, guys. It would like rip out lashes. But I'm going to do it for this video because it's what I used to do. And it made our lashes so thick and clumpy, but that was what we liked. That was the look. So our mascara's on. It's dried down a little bit. So now I would take my lash curler. Ugh. And I would just lightly crimp them so that they would stand up just a little bit more. Even though this mascara is bomb and it does not need this. <laughs> but I wasn't using this mascara at the time. And I would always have like a little, I would have like a tack or like something. I think we used like, seriously we used like wall tacks. And we would separate our clumped lashes. But they actually did okay. They didn't clump too much. So we would do that so that they'd be nice and nice and long and wispy. <laughs> and I did not wear bottom lash mascara all throughout high school. I think I've mentioned that maybe before in a video. Um, I hated bottom lash mascara because I would just use the mascara that I used on the top. And it would always like smudge throughout the day and just didn't look cute. So I didn't wear bottom lash mascara. So this is what I rocked. Just... Just the top. <laughs> okay, I just realized I forgot a super important part with the foundation. We would cover our lips in foundation. So yeah, we would take this as we were applying our foundation. It was the thing to cover your lips and make them pale. Okay, if you know what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> we literally would do this. We would cover our lips with our foundation and look dead. It wasn't cute. I don't know why we thought like at the time it was like the thing to not have like pink lips. So we would kind of mute out our lips with our foundation and then the lip that I would wear it was a gloss and I'm hoping a lot of you know what I'm talking about. There was a gloss that was at the drugstore. It was always at Walmart and I think it was from Smuckers possibly and it was a it smelled like coffee, like it was called cappuccino, and it was kind of a, a nudish brown color. And we were all obsessed with it. You would just put the gloss on, and then you would just have these glossy, nude-ass lips, okay? So I tried to find it. I could not find it anywhere. I don't think it's sold anymore. Maybe I'm wrong, but I could not find it at my Walmart. I couldn't find anything at my Walmart. So um, I'm going to use this Morphe gloss because it's super, super close to what we would wear just kind of that muted nude color um, and we would just put this all over our lips. Mostly I used that gloss because I loved the smell. Like it tasted good, it smelled good, it smelled like a cappuccino. But this is seriously what we would do. I wonder if I have like an even more brown color because I had a little more brown than this one does. But this is kind of on the right track. <laughs> Why was this a thing? Like, do you guys remember when this was a thing? Let me see if I have something that has a little bit of brown that I can add to it. Okay, so I found this Anastasia gloss in the shade Fudge. It's called Fudge, so it's like a deep brown. But I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of this just to make it a little more brown. Just a tiny bit. It's very pigmented. It's a beautiful gloss, but it's very brown. Okay guys, that is it. This is what I would wear in high school. I had so much fun recreating my high school look for you guys. If you haven't tried recreating your high school look yet, you probably should because it was a lot of fun and it's interesting to see like where I've come as far as makeup and I've come a long way. <laughs> but I'm really not mad at this look. I don't think it's that bad. I've seen worse. Um, there's a few things that I'm just like, like the nude lips and the stark eyeshadow was a little much, very glittery, very shimmery, um, but that's just what we were wearing at the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe and hit that notification bell. Even if you're subscribed, if you haven't selected the notification bell, you may not see whenever I upload a new video. So make sure you do that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.